This week on In the Kitchen with Pete, we're making a creamy asparagus soup. With its silky texture and decadent flavors, you'll want to put this one at the top of your soup recipe list. Asparagus, one of my favorite vegetables, and I've created a creamy asparagus soup that's like none other. I add some fresh ingredients like garlic and dill and lemon. It is so delicious. If you're gonna make enough for a gang, you might wanna make two batches. This makes enough for about four small appetizer servings or a couple of big bowls. You're gonna love it. Let's get to it. For the grocery list, we'll need a bunch of asparagus, a couple of cloves of garlic, some fresh lemon, some onions, some fresh Parmesan, fresh dill, butter, some flour, 35% whipping cream, some chicken broth, and salt and pepper to taste. We need to get rid of those woody ends on the asparagus. So about an inch or so down, begin bending them. They'll just naturally snap. And then we'll remove those woody ends and discard them. With a sharp knife, cut the asparagus into about half inch pieces. And then we'll set that aside. In a pan on medium heat, we'll add two tablespoons of butter. And then we'll add quarter cup of finely diced onions. We'll cook until they're soft, about five minutes. We're not looking to brown them. When the onions are soft, add two large cloves of garlic, finely diced. Stir that in for about one minute, just enough to release its flavor. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of flour. Stir that in for one to two minutes, not to worry if it sticks a little bit on the bottom. When we add the broth, we'll eliminate that. Two cups of chicken broth. You could also substitute this with vegetable broth. Now stir that well and turn up the heat to high. Now we can add our asparagus. And we're going to cook that seven to eight minutes until it's fork tender. Using a fork, pierce one of the pieces of asparagus to ensure that it's tender. We're not done with our flavors yet. Two tablespoons of chopped fresh dill, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, and a half a cup of fresh grated Parmesan. You can use a regular stand-up blender, and I'm using my immersion blender. I find these really handy for soup. Now, once you get that to a nice smooth blend, we're going to add one cup of 35% heavy cream and stir that well. And the last item is a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. I think I better give that a taste. Oh, that is so tasty. Perfect. And here it is. You can garnish that with a little bit of fresh dill or maybe a dollop of sour cream. Oh my, you're gonna love it. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. I hope you get to try it out with your friends and family. And if you like it, I have over 150 recipes on YouTube to date. Check them out. I think you'll love them. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little red subscribe button down below. You'll get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time. See ya!